The GLAD Media Award goes to Love Simon. <laughs> So, so everything about this film has been a gift to all of us who made it, and tonight is no different. Following Gwyneth Paltrow and preceding Beyonce is a, for sure a, a, a professional achievement for me. So thank you, Glad, for that and, and for this honor. Thank you, Sarah, Kate Ellis, and all of your dedicated staff who fight quiet battles, most of which we never see, to make the world better and to make films like Love, Simon possible. I've, I've often been asked since the film's release, do I wish I had a movie like Love, Simon when I was a kid? And of course I do. But the truth is, I wouldn't have had the courage to go see it. Because I spent most of my own childhood worried people would figure out that I was gay. And most of the choices I made then were out of fear. I ran the local video store and I would sneak the VHS tapes home of films like Morris and Making Love home at night and watch them on the weekends when no one else was in the house. And I would pray that I would one day have the courage to live as some of those characters. These examples were a lifeline to me, and I'm so grateful for them and for the bravery and perseverance of the many LGBTQIA women, men, and artists who came before me, who changed the world and created one where I get to live my adulthood as an openly gay person and make my artistic and personal choices out of love and not fear. We, we made this film as a chance to give LGBT kids back, like I was, a, a piece of their childhood. An opportunity to go to a movie theater, get a popcorn with their family and friends, and not have to imagine if the lead character shared their sexuality or make the gay sidekick bigger in their head, but to actually see themselves and their story up there on the big screen. And to remind audiences of all genders and all sexualities that all love stories are just as entertaining and just as equal. So, we made this movie to give back, and yet it ended up giving me so much more. It gave me an opportunity to work with this insanely talented and kind cast whom I will know and adore the rest of my life. It gave me a chance to collaborate with the brilliant writers and crew, Isaac Aptiker, Elizabeth Berger, and the amazing novelist Becky Albertalli, whose novel this is based on. And it gave me a chance to come home at night and be lifted up and carried by my loving husband, Robbie. My, my mother died during the making of this movie, so Robbie was dealing with a neurotic director and a grieving son at the same time, and he, along with our child, were my sole source of strength then, as they are now. And finally, the film gave me a chance to work with real champions like our producers and our studio head, Stacy Snyder, who's here tonight, <laughs> and Fox 2000, led by Elizabeth Gabler. These are women who have made a legacy fighting for stories about underrepresented minorities, women, LGBTQ people, and people of color. Yeah! Now you may have read, but Disney merged with Fox last week, and in doing so, plans to eliminate Fox 2000. Which brings me to my final point. In 2001, 18 years ago, when most of the beautiful people on stage behind me were in pre-K, I made a film called The Broken Hearts Club. This film was supposed to be a wide release, and at the end of the day, the studio didn't think it would get the theater support it needed, so they shuttled it to an art house division, where it opened on about 200 screens. It won the GLAAD Award that year for limited release. In the 18 years since, there's been a lot of change and growth in the stories told in the industry, particularly where I do my day job in television. But major theatrical films have not seen the same openness or growth. Films like Saul of Simon that aren't tent poles, but also aren't independent films, are gonna find it harder and harder to get released in theaters. It's why we need GLAAD now more than ever. The fight, for, the fight for equality in our multiplexes is going to get more difficult, not easier. But that's okay, I'm not worried. Because in making movies like Love, Simon and the TV shows I'm lucky to be a part of, I get to meet and work with a lot of young people. And unlike the scared kid that I was at that age, they are fearless. And they're going to keep telling stories until every kid of every race and every gender and every sexuality gets to go to the movies and watch their very own Love, Simon. And, and we all can't wait to buy a ticket. Thank you very much. <laughs>